So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to this Friday, the 22nd of February, sharing of, oh, 2024, an eight year. <clears throat> this Friday sharing of, oh, <laughs> let me start again. This Thursday's sharing, I don't know why it's the old habits, you know, um, of Harmonize to Energize. My name is Terry Matthews, and it's been my pleasure and privilege to share aspects of self-help Jin Chin Jitsu, and more recently, modalities with overlapping connections to Jin Chin Jitsu. I've been doing this for the past four and a half, nearly five years. So um, welcome, everybody. If you are completely brand new to the art of Jin Chin Jitsu, um, particularly perhaps you're just watching this for the first time on YouTube. Jin Shin Jitsu is an art of harmonizing life energy, life force or prana, dependent on the culture you were brought up in. As it moves through the body congruently or not. And the reason it generally doesn't move congruently through our bodies is because of our thinking processes uh, how we speak, act, etc. What we eat, the weather, all these various different factors. Overall, it was brought to the West from Japan uh, by Mary Eno Burmeister, who learned from her master, her teacher, Master Jiro Murai. And in order to harmonize the life energy in Jin Chin Jitsu, similar to the theory of acupuncture, we're talking about how we can modulate energy through placing our hands and fingers or thumbs on what we call safety energy locks. And in traditional Chinese medicine, they call them points. And they use needles, which they place on these energy locks and it modulate by doing that we can control the movement vibration and frequency of this life force this prana as it moves through our body and it moves through our body in energy pathways 12 of them overall with another five special function pathways in jin chin jitsu and so <clears throat> there are 26 of these safety energy locks either side of our main center or our spine and uh, three of them are in our arms and talking of the number three allows me to segue into what we're going to discuss and share today which is the message of safety energy lock number three and how we can embody it in our energy field in our everyday life so I'll begin by actually showing you where it is. I have a <clears throat> slideshow. And those of you that have the self-help books, if you turn to self-help book two and on page, let's have a look. Page 16, the number three safety energy lock is located. There you can see it left and right. It's actually <clears throat> very close to the third thoracic vertebrae. And Mary Burmeister gives some commentary on it. On the left, where she's showing you one way of holding it, I'm currently holding it um, on both sides <clears throat> of my shoulders there but you can hold it crossing over. She calls it the door of life. And then she says, be the smile. When you smile, it opens up the energy centers much more, particularly the energy center that allows more light to come into the body. And that in this case will be safety energy lock four. She talks about the unload or the exhale or skepticisms and the inhale receive your abundance. 
know myself it is. That simply can mean infinite truth, infinite self, or maybe impersonal self. That is knowing yourself as spirit, really, as, as your soul. And when we talk about number three, coming into the universe, meaning understanding, door, defense against problems and discomforts. Well, what my understanding about that is that it is the door that allows us to breathe in and out or out and in that prana. It swings open to let out and as we breathe in, it closes again. It's really part of our whole immunity strengthening system. In um, Chinese medicine, it's actually a lung point. And anyway, Mary talks about that in terms of how it helps breathing, fever and cold relief, sore throat. And there she says it, our personal antibiotic. Groin and foot congestions, that's a relationship between safety energy lock 15. And we'll look at that in a minute. So <clears throat> to elaborate a little bit more, to give us more insight into the message of safety energy lock three, let's have a look at the next slide. You'll see I've added some things to this illustration and understandings here. The waltz. Any of you that um, know anything about waltzing, dancing, you'll know it's a three-step process. You either move forward on your right or left foot, and then you move to the side on your right and left foot, and then you bring the right or left foot back to one another. So it's a movement forward, side, and back to center. And that relates to the understanding of safety energy lock three, beginning what is understood to be the mediator. Because at safety energy lock three, there is one of the Trinity flows which binds the left and right sides of the body back to the spine. The left and the right sides of the body can be subdivided into supervisors, which are, in fact, the birthplace of all the safety energy locks. The mediator, as it moves from left to right, right to left, just as we did when we explained the, the waltz, the dance, brings those left and right supervisors back to center, back to unity, back to oneness. When everything is congruent and, and centered in oneness, there is a greater ability to balance. One Mary, left. Hello? We cannot see any share screen at all. Did you really? Yeah, we, several people have been telling you this on the chat. There's nothing uh, that... Yeah. Thank you. Well, that's, that's weird. Okay, let me go back to Zoom. Thank you. It's all right. <laughs> now you can. <laughs> yes? Can you now see it? Yes, we can. We can. Thank you. Okay, apologies. I don't know what happened there. I'm having all kinds of fun with Zoom. Anyway, if you heard what I said, did you understand what I said? Anyway. For the most part. Okay, good. So, Jordan, did you want to say something? No? Okay. I'm sorry, I bumped it. Thank you. All right, so in bringing energy subdivided into left and right of the body back to the center, we bring balance, 
And as it says here, Septuagint lock number three, if you look down the list there, we harmonize. And it can help us with movement disorders. It can help us balance our attitudes, our emotions. In fact, the mediator is known as, um, or is understood to be regulated by the water element. And I'm reminded that um, Emoto, Japanese professor, talked about how when you placed a message under a glass of water and left it there and then analyzed how that water was with that message, you saw the most congruent, beautiful, crystalline shapes. So the body is 70% water. So the message that we place in our unconscious, subconscious, consciousness can have a definite effect on the fluids in our body, the water, the blood. If that's 70% of us, what effect can it have on our ability to be balanced, our ability to be immune? Um, by the way, <clears throat> This is what Safety Energy Lock 3 is doing. It's protecting us from certain diseases by clearing or helping to clear the lymphatic system through the fatigue flow. And ultimately, it's clearing our mind by harmonizing the exhale in the inhale. This duality again, this idea of bringing the two back to one. So... As you may know, if you've joined me for previous weeks, I suggest we begin with a message that we embed into the soul level of our being, which in Jin Shin Jitsu is the bust line. And there are several declarations that you might want to consider when you're talking about embedding the message of Safety Angel Alt 3. And I've written them down here. I'm filled with vitality. Yeah, when you're more in harmony and your lymph system is clear, your immune system is strong, you're filled with vitality. Or you could say, I love my immune system, lymphatic system. Or number three, Every aspect of my being is in perfect harmony, yeah? Coming back to that idea of the two and becoming one, in that waltz again, the perfect harmony. Or there is a description that comes from ancient intelligence, ancient wisdom, called luminous or sacred intelligence. So you could say, I breathe in, Sacred intelligence, I breathe in luminous intelligence. Number five, my respiratory system is strong and vital. Yeah, that safety engine all three governs our ability to exhale and inhale. Six, finding balance, my mind is clear and open. Seven, relating to the mediator. My emotions are balanced and clear. Eight, also relating to attitudes, mediation. I dissolve and release my conflicts. Any of them may or may not speak to you, but I hope you can see the relationship that I'm making there with Safety Energy Lock 3. Choose either one of those direct declarations that feels expansive. If it feels contractive, don't. And if none of them work that I've written there, you can always meditate on love, peace, harmony, or you can chant ah, which is the sound that resonates to the heart, or oh, just to feel that bus line soul spirit connection. And there is a different way that you can do this too using the safety energy locks. Using safety energy lock four with 
safety energy lock 15. Four and 15. We have a 19 there, which is a one. And then taking our hand away from the four and placing it on the two, which is the <clears throat> top of the sacroiliac joint there. Or if it's more comfortable, we can place our right hand on the 13 and the left hand on the 15. That brings you to a 28. Feel a connection there. And then go to the 2. Or, which may be most comfortable for all of you, the 26 and 22. Just a quick overview of the three dimensions, the bus line, spirit, waistline, mind, hip line, body. The reason the message doesn't normally get through completely into our energy field is because it gets blocked in the mind. So we go around it, we use energy locks that circumvent the mind, 13 and 15 I already mentioned, and then with the two, 13 and 15 are descending locks. Two is ascending. So you exhale down the front and the inhale up the back on the ascending. And just to give some clarity to why I'm using 13, 15, or 4, and 15 and 2, or the 26 and 22, can you see looking at the bus line, which is the first line at the top between the 10 and 13, it also relates to the 26. So the bus line is there. Hip line circumventing the 14 is the 15, descending and then ascending two. Up here, we talked about the four. The four relates to bus line, although it's not indicated, anything that begins here at the top and then subdivides into three here at the top is bus line. Okay, so you can use four, 15 and two, 13, 15 and two, or because of the bus line relationship, um, you can use 26 with the hip line relationship, 22. All right, so let's just choose one of those positions if it feels comfortable, four to 15, and it's the center 15, so it's your pubic bone. Feel the connection between four and 15, or 13 and 15. And then when you've chosen a message, if you have one, place your hand on the two, which is at sacral iliac joint. In the center two, which I mentioned last week, is the Ming Men, the life force for all creatures. And now you're connected with the exhale and the inhale going back to the one, which is A3. Or 26, and with your thumbs on the 22. And that all adds up, 26 to a 22, 48, which adds up to a three, a 12 broken down, subdividing in a three. So whichever one you've chosen, let's just sit. Whichever position. Harry, can you we see more of your chest and where you're holding your hands? You're, it's only, we're only up to your shoulders here. I mean, can you just taller? Well, yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Thank yeah, you. Tw twenty six. That's twenty six. Yeah, okay. yeah, and then to twenty. It's it's the easiest one of all of them. But you're connecting with your bus line, your soul, your heart, which is receiving whichever message you choose. And you feel that expansion, that connection with that energy field. 
If you haven't already chosen the message, maybe one will come now. Just sit with that. Remember to breathe out, to exhale, allow the energy to move down the front of the body. And then naturally receive a breath on the inhale. And see what harmonious three type message enters your consciousness. If nothing is happening, that's fine too. And I said earlier, you can choose just to simply choose something like love, peace or harmony. Or you can chant ah, anything. It's just to feel or anything that helps you feel expansion. And we'll do this for three exhalation inhalations. As we exhale, the energy is spiraling down to our feet. Via the 15 and 2. And then up the back on the inhale. Feel your shoulders relaxing. Resistance melting. And realize that also at the bus line you are referencing the lung, which is activated by safety energy three as well. Now we'll look at um, three holds that Mary gave for safety engine lock three. The first one I'm going to suggest we practice with is the last practice that Mary showed for safety engine lock two. We did one, we did two, and in the last practice for safety engine log two, Mary had us hold the three with the two. I think you can all see that. Choose your left or your right. Connect. And we're going to do nine exhalation inhalations here. <clears throat> Exhale, let go. Any thoughts, disharmonies that you no longer need from head to toe. And then inhale to the three, to the four, with the message that you want to receive. It may be, I said, as simple as love, or it may be, I am in perfect harmony. My emotions are balanced, etc. Let us begin nine times. As you're breathing in that message, it's supported by cosmic purified energy. 
really helping you embed. Don't worry if your mind starts arguing with your soul. Just override it with your message. Your soul's unique message. Feel your feet connected to the earth. As you're letting go, you're building something new with this message. Notice how you're feeling. Remember the relationship between the three and the mediator, our emotions, our attitudes. And remember, if your body is 70% water and the motor's experiments, be wise with your messages. And when you reach the ninth exhalation, inhalation, just notice how you're feeling, where you might be feeling, what's happening around safety energy arc three, left or right. Maybe there's some sensations, maybe there isn't. No worries. Just allow the energy to find its own way in its own time. And the message will help that become more embodied, more open, more clear, more balanced. Okay, the second practice, I'm going to look at there's two on this page, but the first one. With the finger relationships and safety energy lock, we can hold either the right or left and middle finger to activate safety energy lock three through the generator fingers. Also relates to third depth, liver and gallbladder. If you want to connect to the source of life and that 26 again you can place your fingers around the middle finger palm side and then put sorry back side and then put the thumb in the center of the palm of the finger and that will connect you to safety engine lock 26 all complete nine exhalation inhalations from head to toe from toe to head, keeping, introducing 
embodying your message. If the message has changed, providing it's harmonious, that's fine. Let the new message sink in. Breathe out any disharmonious messages. Breathe in harmonious messages. See if the message is percolating in your energy field. Helping Safety Angel 3 to open. Third depth mediator to balance emotions. Just observe. And then when you come to the ninth exhalation, inhalation, just again, observe, notice how you're feeling, what you're feeling, maybe where you're feeling. Has that message remained with you? Has it changed? Has it become more embedded? Is your mind fighting it? Just notice. Notice what you're feeling in your heart, the source of the soul message. And then the <clears throat> third practice here, Just place one hand, right or left, on the three, and the other one, same side, 15, which is in the groin. You can see from that illustration. 15 is going to help number three open. Descending energy helping ascending energy. Also the kidney, liver, and spleen energy supporting and unburdening, energizing the three with the connection of the lung, 15 also being a second depth safety energy lock, which is governed by lung and large intestine. So let us begin. Nine exhalation, inhalation, 15 will also help. The message 
fill our hearts with joy and laughter. Here we go. Remember the message is going from head to toe, skin to bone, and then all the way back up, toes to head. It's a complete body breath. And the energy is spiraling in a positive direction on the exhale and the inhale. Embed that message even deeper on the inhale, up through the three. Exhale, down through the 15. Down to the seven. Inhale, receive the message. Notice now how the three fills, 15 area, which is supporting it, supporting it to open, along with the message. Breathing in the harmony, whatever the harmonious message is, letting going of any disharmonious message. Using the energy locks and the body as the conduit for receiving and letting go. You are the messages you give yourself and where they come from. Aim as much as possible always to receive the message from your soul to the purest level. The most harmonious level. Bus line in Jinchen Jitsu. And then allow that message to percolate through your energy field, enhancing and strengthening your immunity, your emotions, your limbs. Your breath.
And as you reach the ninth exhalation, inhalation, just <clears throat> observe again. Find yourself in a neutral position. How are you feeling? Where are you feeling? And what are you saying to yourself now? Thirty exhalation inhalations. What are you saying? You're at that three level now. And to bring us to our thirty-six breaths and our balance, which is what number six is all about, we're going to do final six exhalation inhalations, giving ourselves a hug. So we finish the 26 and 22 position. Six exhalation inhalations at the bus line. At the level of the soul and the message, the lungs of the three. And this is like gluing that message into your heart and soul. <laughs> the six, bringing balance and harmony, that warped step coming back to center, all complete, 26, back to source. Twenty two helping the three at the front to breathe more. Twenty two is also a lung point. And yeah, when you've finished your six exhalation inhal inhalations, totaling 36 altogether, you can just place your hands in your 15s, filling your heart with more joy and laughter. So I can see there's been some comments in the chat. Oh, just about the slides. Okay. Sorry about that. So how was that for everybody? Um, was it helpful? Were you able to connect to a positive message? And did you feel Safety Angel Lock 3 opening up a little bit more, which will strengthen all those various aspects of the three? Or did your mind kick in and did it argue with your soul and say, no, I'm not harmonious, it's nonsense, whatever. How was that? It was a pretty pure experience, Terry. 
I just loved being reminded of all those things. This is Carol. Oh, okay, Carrie, I'm looking up there. <laughs> okay, let's let's get you all on the. Uh... Yeah, I know. Sometimes there's a lot to think about. Um, but you know, with the exhale, we can let that go. So starting off at the, at the bus line where we allow the soul to guide us with a message. We can then relax and drop a shot. Yes, the soul's in charge. We've got the right balance here. That's the correct order from bus line down to hip line. The mind's a processor. If it wants to interfere, it's got anything useful to say, yeah, maybe it'll help enhance the message. But stay here first, then take that message to the rest of the energy field through the mind, to the body, through the hip line. Mm. It becomes a letting go until the soul is so in charge, all you're doing is receiving those messages and it's enhancing your whole being, actually. But in this case, particular focus on safety, Angel Lock 3. Jordan, mm. has, um, Jordan has a hand up. Jordan? Do you want to unmute yourself? Hi. Hey, Jordan. I I just so appreciate your classes, um, or or teachings, whatever you want to call this, and I just wanted to say thank you. Oh well, that's you're very welcome. It's um, a pleasure, a privilege. I learn as much, you know, from your experiences. That's why I invite you to comment as much as me having to review what's happening myself. And, you know, as we go along on this journey, our soul, I believe, brings us insights. And maybe they're new insights. Maybe Mary never had them. You know, Mary always said, be your own testimony. And she meant that. We're the artist as the, as the wisdom comes through us, let it percolate. And what are you learning? Maybe have a little book, where, a little journal where you can write down. Oh, well, wasn't that interesting? Doesn't matter if Mary, Terry, Jiro, or anybody didn't say that. They might have had the realization, but at the time they didn't say it. It's for you. It's for your learning for you to be at one with that wisdom to stand under and mary deliberately put she separated the words under stand yeah you you have to um i believe stand under your soul the mind will want to come up with its understanding but it rarely stands under the soul it normally wants to take over and control i think we're at a time and i've said that before where the soul is guiding us has to guide us it's an imperative how many centuries aeons lifetimes has the mind been given the upper echelon has it brought harmony? Sometimes, but generally not. As soon as the soul moves in, the mind takes its natural place. The intuition, the soul, the spirit, universal truth, whatever you understand it to be. We learn to trust that because in the end, I believe that's what brings the most harmony. Girl, the mind is split left and right. Up, down, left, right, duality. Bring in the third quality, the mediation, binder. You know, in Chinese medicine, that third depth, the liver, is that reincarnating soul. They call it the soul. When it comes in, 
it brings us back to our oneness, to our heart. Listen to that message. It's the truth, I believe. Anyway, thank you um, again for joining me. I really appreciate your support. And um, the recording will be up 24 to 48 hours. Oh, Carol. Yeah, thank you. I am. Um, can you hear me? Yeah. I find that I'm sleeping every night with my hands crisscrossed like this. Perfect. And that's the threes, right? That's the three. Yeah. yeah. I never paid any attention to it until this. Yeah. Third thoracic vertebrae and just move your hands slightly away from the third thoracic is safety angel on three. It's helping you breathe more deeply. And that's a perfect opportunity before you go to sleep to put in that harmonious message. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. I mean, let's let's use every hour we've got to harmonize. And if you can do that while the body is really relaxing at the sleep state, how much more will that message embed? Think about it, or rather, feel it. Diana, you got a question? Yeah. Last week, I realized I was blocked in the four when I had a shooting pain above the yeah. eye. Uh -huh. And I had the same pain all week, including last night. Uh -huh. So I came up with a declaration and I thought about what was most blocking me. And then, thank you. I picked that and I held that through all of this because I realized I'm blocking myself. So thank you. Did it help? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, the message, the information that we give ourselves is the starting block. Everything else takes its lead, its baton from there. I know some people said, oh, well, you know, it's positive thinking. Yes, but what we're adding on here is the dimension that it comes from the bus line the heart, the soul, and we're using our hands to steer it through any blocked energy locks or pathways. Whereas when I read about positive thinking, was it Norman Vincent Peale? He didn't talk about energy locks. He didn't <laughs> talk about the soul. We, we've got an added dimension now. We're very fortunate. We can now embody, I believe. So that's great. It's good news. Anyone else got anything yeah, they want to ask? Yeah, my layering and variety. <laughs> yeah, someone mentioned that in the chat room. Those of you that have studied Jin Shin Jitsu will know there are many layers, yes? <laughs> And you can start here and go down here and down there and then up here and then over there. Um, and I apologize if it gets confusing, especially for anyone who's new. But what I learned when I was studying Jin Shin Jitsu was when it was confusing, exhale. Just let it go. Because eventually that message will osmotically integrate at the time that's right for you. There's a timing. So don't let your mind go in there necessarily and go, oh, I don't understand. This is just, it's just, okay. Exhale. Allow your soul to connect. Oh, oh yeah, okay, well, whatever. We'll make the connection eventually. We'll stand under it eventually. Yeah. All right, well, good. Well, nice to see you all. Um, if you find it useful, practice when you have the opportunity, like with Carol, before you go to sleep, that's an excellent time. You're probably just not off straight away. And, whoo, gone. Message in. And next week, we'll finish uh, first depth with Safety Angel Lot 4. And then we'll have some guests, I hope. I believe. <laughs> I believe March is going to be filled with four guests. 
in this they skedaddle so um we'll look forward to that all right everybody i really appreciate um, the opportunity to share with you take good care of yourselves um <laughs>